Being an artist in the crypto space has been a wild ride. So much has happened in the space, and it happened pretty quickly. Here we go, CryptoPunk number one, one zero. They're calling that the Warhol, the Warhol of, uh, of crypto art. At the time, John was working on the, um, the pixel character generator. It just felt very like a, like a garage band type aesthetic. Like, we're just gonna try doing this. There's this thing we wanna just experiment. It felt really like a lot of people were pioneers. The CryptoPunks were born there. I think we moved into that office and we were thinking, we're just trying to remember, is it 2016? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. The early persons in this uh, community, what mattered was the curiosity in, in the technology, the open-mindedness. The Mashable article said this could change uh, art as we know it or something. You know, yeah, it was, some, it was yeah. some big, bold headline, you know? On the internet, you can be whoever you want. And your profile picture that represents you can be anything. There's some celebrities who have CryptoPunks as their profile picture. It's like, well, that's a very iconic thing. You might see them on Twitter more than you'd see them in real life. People just kept on telling me CryptoPunks. Look at CryptoPunks, check out CryptoPunks. Because of the community. But I don't think anyone knew that it would be so speculative so fast. How this happened, really? How did we get here? It's just starting to get really crazy. A lot of artists make a tons of money. It was wild. It was really like in the wild, wild west. Everyone searching for gold. Well, we have a lot of CryptoPunks. They're worth a lot. We even may be in physical danger here. Just completely hijacked by speculation. And, uh, and I know that wasn't the original intention. You know, we always say that it's just two guys in a room with computers. It's gonna be like the palais for the 21st century. We're just at the beginning of it. <laughs>